Statistics and Excel. Issue with five number summary and box plot. Got data? Let's get stuck into it with statistics and Excel. Although we'll be using OneNote here, but we're gonna talk about Excel too. You're not required to, but if you have access to OneNote, we're in the icon, left-hand side, OneNote presentation, 1422 issues with five number summary and box plot tab. We're also adding our transcripts so that you can go to the view tab, immersive reader tool, changing the language if you so choose, being able to either read or listen to the transcripts in multiple languages, using the timestamps to tie in to the video presentation. OneNote desktop version here, data on the left hand side, two data sets this time creatively named data A and data B. We're going to do some of our standard stats on both data sets, including the mean or average, the min, quartile one, median or quartile two, quartile three, and the max. We'll also create a box and whiskers for both data sets, otherwise known as a box plot. And we will see that although both data sets are very different, we're going to come up with similar stats or the same stats and basically the same image in the form of a box plot. Now, this is given to highlight the fact that sometimes these stats, although important and very useful, uh, may not be all we need in order to, to get a real grasp of the data, especially when we're thinking about the spread of the data. How, how is it basically populated, say, around uh, the middle point. So if we look at these two data sets, they've been specially put together so that we, all these stats are going to work out like this. But the general concept uh, is the idea here. So we've got data set A, we've put them in order from smallest to largest 50, 75, 75, 100, 100, 100, 125, 125, 150. Data set B, 50, 75, 75, 75, 75, 75, 75 125, 125, 125, 125, and 150. Now, if I look at our stats then for data set A, we can take our average, which is simply uh, adding up all the numbers and then dividing by the count, or we can use the Excel formula, the average formula, we get to 100. And then if I do the min, meaning take the smallest number, we can see in data set A, it is 50. And if I do the calculation in Excel, it would be equal the min, and that would automatically give us the 50. Quartile one, so now we're picking the middle number in the, the first quartile, breaking it out into quartile 75. And if I was to uh, do that in Excel, I would have the quartile function. It has a second argument, making sure that we put the comma and then the one, picking up the 75. Then the median, or quartile two is the middle number. So we order it all and pick the one in the middle, which is going to be the 100. We can also do that with the median formula or function in Excel, or we can use the quartile function and then comma two. Median function is usually the one that's going to be used. It's easier, it's faster. You only have one argument instead of two to do it. And then quartile three is gonna be like the middle point of the last quartile, 125, same quartile formula, but the argument on the second argument is a two, if you did that in Excel. And then the maximum is 150, 150. Now, and that would be a max formula here. Now, if we did the same thing, uh, for for B or this, I'm sorry, this is going to be the box and whiskers. So we've got our box and whiskers representing our numbers here. And you can see the 